there, I'm Rachel Miles and this is Rylan Feeney and we are co-owners and directors of the Wellspring School located here in Portland. And we thought we'd take a few minutes to tell you a little bit more about ourselves in the school and have Rylan talk more about AMA therapy and how she got into Chinese medicine in this field. So Rylan, with that in mind, would you tell us a little bit about how you got into Chinese medicine? Um, yeah, I was studying psychology in San Francisco and uh, finished my BA there. When I was done, I really realized it wasn't what I wanted to be doing. And I had benefited a lot from some alternative health practices, um, massage and Chinese medicine and um, herbs. And so I, I went on search for something new, something that I could add to my practice, something I could be doing. And that search led me to New York. Um, and in New York, I discovered the new center, which was in Manhasset. At that time, there were only two massage schools in the state of New York, and one was called the Swedish Institute, it was in Manhattan, and then there was the new center in Manhasset that practiced alma therapy, which I had no idea what it was, and, uh, but I did know that it was based in Chinese medicine, and I thought, okay, sounds, sounds more interesting, I'm gonna do that. So I reverse commuted from Manhattan to Long Island for about five years I spent at the New York College studying in various, uh, various ways. I took their basic programs and I took their advanced program and I studied and apprenticed with my direct teacher, Faye Shankman, in herbs. Um, Alma therapy is a lineage art that's very small that was brought to the United States in the late uh, 60s, early 70s by Tina Sohn and Dr. Sohn. And, um, they practiced in an ashram helping people who were um, near death or chronic illnesses that weren't being treated by Western medicine at that time. It was such a profound healing art that people started asking that they be trained in it. And at that point, they um, decided to start a school. At that time, their acupuncture was not legal in the state of New York to practice. You could practice if you were a doctor, but you couldn't be trained in acupuncture and practice. And so they decided to use the lineage art of AMA as the base um, vehicle for them to practice Chinese medicine and to teach it to other people. And so they created a massage school that included AMA therapy. And what they did is they really taught us Chinese medicine through AMA therapy. And I always tell people, you know, here in the United States, um, the word Chinese medicine is really synonymous with acupuncture. But Chinese medicine is a whole medicine, and it has a lot of tools. And acupuncture is just one tool of Chinese medicine, as is AMA therapy or Asian bodywork therapies, and dietary therapy, and movement therapies, and herbs. So here at the Wellspring, we, um, we embrace all of those parts of Chinese medicine, but the needles. We don't, we don't teach acupuncture, but we do teach um, movement and meditation and dietary therapy and an intro to herbs in this profound healing art on the therapy. So then in terms of massage therapy uh, versus AMA therapy, how are they really different? Um, it's all an intent. Okay. You know, in massage you're, you're intending to work out tight muscles and you're thinking about the muscles and with AMA, your brain and what you're thinking about is Chinese medicine. So you're diagnosing and looking at the person, taking their pulses, looking at their tongue, and assessing their condition, and then treating it with your hands using acupressure points, the same points that an acupuncturist would use, but using your hands with the same intent as they do when they needle. Um, so it's, it's really the intent in its most mundane or its simplest form, AMA can be practiced as a form of massage therapy in its most elevated form. It's a true, complete healing system. Excellent. So with your training, what led you then to open the Wellspring School? Um, well, you know, when I was in New York, I, um, <clears throat> I was in class still, and Mrs. Sung, the founder, um, knew that I was going to be having a child and that I was planning on moving to the West Coast and she said in class one day she said oh good you can take Alma to the West Coast and teach it and I, I actually have the tape still of that class and I'm like huh yeah right <laughs> like no intention no thought but you know when I got to Boise when I got to Idaho we moved to Idaho at that time there was no Alma of course because it is such a small art and I actually really couldn't get treated and didn't know what else to do with myself so I'm like 
okay, maybe I should teach. And uh, contacted my teachers, contacted Mrs. Sohn and my main teacher, Faye Shankman, and they really set me up and provided um, a really solid support system for me to begin to teach there. So in 1992, the same year that New York started uh, uh, acupuncture and the school there started their acupuncture program, um, I started teaching Ama therapy in Boise, Idaho. And then in 1995, um, we moved the programs out of the massage school there and created our own school, the Wellspring. That's great. So you were in, in Boise, Idaho for almost 19 years or uh, teaching at the Wellspring School and then you moved here to Portland and now we opened the school here in Portland this last year and are introducing the next AMA program or the first AMA program. So what would you say to somebody thinking about taking the AMA program? Do it. <laughs> It's okay. the best thing you'll ever do. Um, it's life changing. It allows you to live within your, it allows you to live in a way that is true to yourself. It never compromises mm -hmm. yourself. Um, and we're always here to talk to you. So come by, talk to us, see if it's a fit. We'll, we'll be happy to meet with you. We'll be happy to give you demos. We have open houses regularly. Um, it's, it's here for you. Excellent.